Yes, I do, Charlie, but let me a tell you, that's the wrong question. Okay, what's the right question? How do you feel? Not you, Charlie Rose, right. but don't you understand that the people who do this thing, who practice racism, right. are bereft. There is something distorted about the psyche. It's a huge waste, and it's a corruption and a distortion. It's like it's a profound neurosis that nobody examines for what it is. It feels crazy. It is crazy. And it leaves, it has just as much of a deleterious effect on white people and possibly equal as it does black people. I always knew that I had the moral high ground all my life. I always thought those people who said I couldn't come in the drugstore and I had to sit in this funny place, I couldn't you go felt in the park. You superior to them I from did. day one. And I thought they knew that I knew that they were inferior to me, morally. I always thought that. And my parents always thought that. You said your father was racist because he always felt like he was he always superior. Thought, that's right. He always felt superior. And that was a form, you know, of, of, defended, of defensive racism. But if if the racist white person, I don't mean the person who is examining his consciousness and so on, doesn't understand that he or she is also a race, it's also constructed, it's also made, and it also has some kind of serviceability. But when you take it away, I take your race away, and there you are, all strung out, and all you got is your little self. And what, and what is that? What are you without racism? Are you any good? Are you still strong? Are you still smart? Are you still like yourself? I mean, these are the questions. It's, part of it is, yes, the victim, how terrible it has been for black yeah, people. You like that. I'm not a victim. I refuse to be one. And the victim is the other person who is morally inferior and that's who what, that's has a serious to hold question. on to of course. racism if you to have somehow to hold, that's for right. his or her own self-esteem and definition. If you can only be tall because somebody's on their knees, then you have a serious problem. And my feeling is white people have a very, very serious problem. And they should start thinking about what they can do about it. Take me out of it. Then give white people some free advice. <laughs> They're all in my books. <laughs> and the advice is 